For all kinds of internet critics, the word underrated has become a staple of their work. It seems like an effective buzzword when you want to steer the general consensus in a different direction. On YouTube, that approach comes in handy for roller coaster enthusiasts. We live in a big country where some coasters fly under the radar, and just a little bit of attention could turn an obscure coaster into a popular one. To be honest, I would not use that example if some of my most popular videos were not about that topic. When you hear me call something underrated, usually the discussion is about Jandek. It's hard to say whether the artist himself is underrated. While the merit of his work is obvious to me, so are the reasons for avoiding it. Therefore, Jandek songs can only be underrated among the fans. I have used this word in reference to songs like Quinn Boys 2, How Many Places, and Long Long. While I deemed Your Turn to Fall an underrated album, it is not my pick for the most underrated. That title goes to Newtown, the penultimate Third Era release. In terms of quality material, I think it is comparable to Graven Image, even though people seem to talk about that one more. Maybe the problem with Newtown is that it didn't offer anything new besides the guitar tuning. White Box Requiem tried to be a concept album, while I Woke Up was just a hot mess. But for this record, it sounds like Jandek is somewhat back to normal. However, the timing was just right for something more conventional, and thankfully Jandek put some good effort into the lyrics when he was not in the mood to surprise us. The most unusual aspect of the album is honestly the production, and even this is rather subtle. Listen to a few songs, maybe compare them to the last few albums, and you will notice a slight hiss in the background. It's best heard on the more mellow tracks. Ever since Jandek started releasing CDs, many fans were under the impression that he switched to digital recording, which normally wouldn't result in a hiss. Either the new technology was unavailable at the time, or Newtown was an older album whose release was delayed. There are tons of explanations, but these are merely the first that come to mind. Right off the bat, we have the melodic title track. Melodic might be a bit of a stretch, but you can at least tell it's near the key of E flat. In fact, I'd venture to say that the tuning on this song is different from the rest of the album. The lyrics depict Jandek's attempt to rekindle an old romance with a woman nearby whom he tries to impress by sending the last song he wrote. It's unclear whether the narrator speaks the lyrics or they take the form of a letter. Fate seems to have brought them to the same town once again, but for her, it is a new town. I guess she just moved in, so the narrator quickly tries his luck with her. And part of the fun is that we don't hear the end of this story. Best of all, there is a nice variety of guitar fills, so it's a great way to introduce people to the album. Although I want to say this is Jandek's best title track, it really is neck and neck with Telegraph Melts, which is certainly no insult. With the more mysterious guitar tuning, Steal Away Home is where the album starts sounding more like traditional Jandek. This shuffling track seems to be about Judgment Day, and an angel must be the one playing the trumpet within the narrator's soul. However, most of the lyrics are simply the title, so the song sometimes feels like your condition. Then there's Street Walk, the record's only instrumental. In the first and last chunks of the track, we are treated to some decent harmonica improv. Meanwhile, the middle mostly features lead guitar. We heard this playing style on the last few albums, but obviously this has a different flavor because of the tuning. After a minute and a half of this, Jandek switches to strumming before bringing back the harmonica. Because Streetwalk has some progression to it, I would put it in the upper tier of instrumentals from this period. Sometimes a single track steals the attention from the album as a whole, and that might be the case with You Standing There. After all, it's quite impressive when a Jandek song has nearly 80,000 views on YouTube. Perhaps what brings people back is the music video, since that's something you rarely see with this artist. Made over 13 years ago, the video is experimental in nature, although delinquency is a recurrent theme. Someday I really hope Beavis and Butthead offer their critique. But how is the song itself? Well, the guitar playing is pretty standard for this album, although you do get an extra chord here and there. It's really the words that stand out, 
since they are a textbook example of Jandekian surrealism. Right away, Jandek admits that he's gone nuts. So I guess you can't fault him for the confusing lyrics. One line I never forget is, guess who's been after you, guess who's before you, which sounds to me like the mind of an anxious person. Meanwhile, the part about Blackest Night always gives me chills. Some of the other imagery includes the changing of the seasons and rising of the sun. He even sneaks in his fortune concept at the end. You're looking into blackest night Your fortune love has not gone away It's here to stay Due to the disorganized and surreal nature of this track, it would not surprise me if it was influenced by some intense psychedelic experience. My days of tripping are over, but I can imagine this track coming alive once you've crossed over to the other side. By the way, there's a different version on the next album, making this the only song in the third era to be redone. Up next is Desert Voice, which has a similar feel to Street Walk, except there are lyrics and no harmonica. After some noodling on guitar, there's a nice lead-in to the lyrics, during which you can hear some papers rustling. In the opening lyric, note the throwback to the song Lake Lagoon. As for the lyrics as a whole, they are clearly about wandering in the desert until you hear it talking to you. Plus, it's also a universe where sunspots have an effect on your dreams. One track I've known for a long time is The Real You, not to be confused with The Real Me by The Who. On guitar, there's this funky little chord over and over, and the strumming even speeds up in the last minute. I am especially fond of the lyrics which certainly have a message, despite not being too complex. Basically, Jandek is confused by how people don't meet his expectations. Possibly influenced by cowboy culture, a young Jandek wanted a full-fledged firearm, but he had to settle for an air gun. I wonder if he ever shot his eye out? Anyway, he draws a parallel to this by saying he wanted somebody, yet he only got a stone. This part came out a little strange, but I have a feeling he's talking about a gravestone. Maybe the love of his life became death. These parts are effectively repeated a second time. Meanwhile, Who Are They and Who Are You is one of the more iconic lines on the record. Sometimes I even find myself saying it. Overall, I like what Jandex says and I like what he does on this song. Everything checks out. After a sort of follow-up to Pending Doom, our last highlight comes in at the very end, and it should not be overshadowed. When Seth Tissue originally wrote about this album, it didn't pique his interest as a whole, but What You Are was the only track he mentioned. This is because he believed the artist's creative juices were not flowing like they used to, and this song could have been addressing that. Even as he finished his 27th record, he wondered if he really was making the most out of his career. After all, we know that much of his work betrays a lack of formal training, and on top of that, it was not his only profession. Of course, the lyrics are not too specific, but this is the kind of vagueness that drives me wild. Yet the song continues to evolve. In another unforgettable line, the artist goes on to wonder what his own life and death even mean. Then he changes the focus to the listeners, wondering how we're faring existentially. If he really was interested in relating to the fans, perhaps he was starting to move away from his more reclusive tendencies. This is a great example of an historic Jandex song that somehow goes unnoticed. Meanwhile, I think it rivals the title track for second best on the album. Sure, Newtown is among the last of the classic Jandek records. And there was an impressive two decades worth of material for it to compete with. Therefore, I'm surprised at how well this one holds up. It's like the living end in that the second half fizzles out a bit. 
But if you've heard that album, you know that its first half compensates. When Newtown gets it right, it's some of the best material of the third era, and I think it's a great option for the newer fans who are starting to progress beyond the likes of You Walk Alone. Meanwhile, it's time for me to dive right into the beginning of the end, or perhaps the end of the beginning. <laughs> 